Okay, uh, now we're going to work a little bit here. First thing we're going to do is put a little bit of a highlight in this area here. We're going to use medium white with a touch of raw sienna and a tiny bit of Prussian blue. So let's pick up the medium white, some raw sienna, and let's get a tiny bit of Prussian blue. Now this area is going to relate to the sky. And we're, let's see, we're going to look at the picture, second stage picture number four. And we're going to make this right here. And I think I should probably start out with a little extender. And we're going to come all the way to here with that. And we're going to come down. It's going to come down a little farther into here. And I'm going to need to mop that as I go. Yeah, I could tell that I didn't get enough extender on there. This is just a slight green tint to it. I'm using my quill brush because I'm about to use it on the masts. So let's pull that way down this way. And now we're going to soften it out. And you want to look to your sky and compare between. <laughs> okay, I don't think that was on camera. Anyway, use some extender, medium white, a little touch of raw sienna, and a tiny dot of Prussian blue to get the slightly green. And we're highlighting this area of the bank. And we're making this color match up with the sky color because that was one of this artist's um, main features is he always kind of had an area uh, where the land kind of took some characteristics from the sky okay so we'll put that in there that will highlight now I'm going to clean my brush and use it with uh, medium gray, like so yeah, and uh, gonna put the mass in. We're only gonna do the mass. We're not gonna do the rigging or the guide wires or anything. And I'm gonna start with medium gray. And just pull this right down through here. hand is just not very steady tonight so let's clean that up and let's clean that up okay that's a little better That 
lots better than the first one. Okay. And we can use the darker gray. On this side is a sort of a shadow. Kind of blend that in a little. Same with this one. And again, I got to clean up. <laughs> See if I can do this right handed. Probably not. Of course we can use the lighter gray for a highlight but I think we might be light enough let's try it out And the reason we're not doing the riggings yet is because we may not be through with the sky back there. So, we're just going to do the mass only. And then over here, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to base in the sailboat, the hull of it with raw umber, and the sails with medium gray. And then we'll work on the boat with um, some values of medium beige. So let's uh, get some medium gray and base in the sail. too much extender on. Need that to be a little more opaque to cover up my tracing lines. But I can do that on the next go round. Okay, and we're going to do the hull of the boat with raw umber, including these small ones. some bleeding because my extender is too soupy. Okay. Let's go 
back and into the medium gray again. You know, I think I want to use a flat on this one. So we can get some the sharper edges. put the mask back in there later. is a little drier so we can go back in and darken that a little bit Now we're going to take our 